Hey y'all, today let's figure out why this pen 113HL is not displaying much signs of drag and why it's getting stiff when you lock this down. Not a lot of drag there, but very hard, very difficult to turn. You see how the handle is moving? That spool is barely moving. Now if you want to see a full breakdown of a 113H, uh, check my description below for a link to that. This is just a diagnosis and remedy situation. So I'm going to open all those screws on the outside, uh, loosen those screws on the inside there, and then we'll show you when we get inside here. Okay, so first things first, when I was loosening these screws on the outside up, uh, I did feel like the uh, cranking ability uh, improved. Not necessarily the drag portion of it, but the cranking part. And I see that we have a broken spring here. So definitely we could have some issues because of that. Looks like I see something sticking out there. So we got a broken spring here. That could certainly affect it in terms of that piece going up inside the wrong, uh, the wrong place. But doesn't mean that's that's what it is. So let's just kind of pop this stuff off and see. All right. Let's check the drags and see if they're. No, nope, these look fine. I'm gonna say a lot of it is probably because of that that bearing right there. I'm sorry, not the bearing, but the spring and all this gunk we got got built up on here. Okay, so what I think it was is that the broken piece of this spring was kind of trapped inside that main gear area under this somewhere. So whenever you tighten it down, it compresses that area and then just squeezes that together, which makes it very difficult to crank the handle. Um, but what I'm going to change out is the obviously the spring, uh, the drags here, and I'm just kind of get this a lot of old dried junky kind of grease uh, cleaned up and put back together and see how it feels then. So stay tuned. I'll be back to you after this is all done. Okay, so now we have very good free spool uh, drag. Yeah, drag's feeling really nice. I think the main culprit here was the uh, the dog spring, I'm sorry, the eccentric spring that was kind of wedged under and inside that main gear. So uh, I think that was the main culprit, like I said. So if you found the video useful, please hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys next time.